Whoa. <laughs> I caught that on video. Hey folks, it's Grim Whiff with Casual Truck today. With me today is my lovely wife, Poet, or Queenie, as I usually call her. Queenie, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm fueled by coffee. Yay, coffee. All mm -hmm. right. Today is a unusual show for Casual Truck because I'm getting ready for a particular con. So the question is, Queenie, what do you want to see from Otacon? It's Otacon. <laughs> um, Close enough for me. <laughs> whatever. Um, last year, I remember this. I don't think you saw it, but it was really interesting. And no, you did hear it. Um, the people just breaking out in random song again. That'd oh. be awesome. Yeah, that was that was really awesome when that happened. That was really awesome. They were, I believe, they were singing "Journeys Don't Stop Believing." <laughs> going through the hallways. I absolutely remember that from last year. <laughs> um, because, again, that's always awesome. Um, I'm half tempted, I don't know if I want to do this or not, and drag you along with me mm -hmm. to the karaoke cafe. I don't know if I want to do that or not. Yes, that sounds like fun. It's like, I it's like Mabel said, karaoke is not about singing good, it's about singing terribly in front of hundreds of people. Yay! Um, <laughs> um, I do want to see that. I am sad though. Yet yeah, last year, I'm so pissed we missed this. Um. Oh God, I have to think of who the hell it was last year that we missed. The guy who played Zuko. No, that's this year. Oh, okay. Yeah, Don, uh, Dante Bosco is going to be this, be there this year. Or, yeah, Dante Bosco. Yeah, is going to be there this year. And last year, we missed. Um. It was, oh, Jesus. Did we see opening ceremony last year? Or was that the year before? I don't think we saw opening ceremony. We saw closing ceremony last year. No, we didn't see closing ceremony. We saw, oh, oh, it was opening because the guy from, it was either, it wasn't, it wasn't Final, it was Final Fantasy. He had a concert. And then th that was the first year, I think. And the second year, it was, um, uh, Yoko Kano? I, believe, I, I might be butchering the name from um, she did the Cowboy Bebop um, are you talking about Tank? yeah well that's the song but with her, the seatbelts and her they did for they did the uh, words are failing me they did the soundtrack for Cowboy Bebop and I believe last year she did a concert and we missed it I'm kind of sad about that it sounds to me like you're absolutely getting ready for um, the music of Otacon. Well, there's really... Okay, there's some people I want to see, definitely. I mean, I want to see Dante Bosco. There was one guy who I thought was someone else, but isn't. And I, I was kind of... Huh? On that one? Yeah, I'm a uh, little huh about that, too. Well, I thought it was someone, and I, I thought it was someone else, and... It wasn't who I thought it was. The name is very, very similar. So many pronouns. I'm looking for him right now. I'm on the webpage. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Scrolling down as fast as I possibly can. Um, but it's apparently somebody who's there this year, yeah? Yeah, yeah. David Vincent. He sounds really freaking familiar to me, but he isn't who I thought he was. It was... It was someone else. And let me see, because I... Because I do remember that one year I missed... I'm so fucking mad at this. I missed Steve Bloom. I was so mad about that. I was like, no! So, yeah, yeah I was kind of... That, that is before. one prolific actor. David He's, Kay, that's the one I want to see. Uh. Isn't he the guy who, did, who directed Indigo Prophecy and the Heavy Rain? Or am I thinking of someone else? I think you're thinking of someone else because this guy was. Oh, I'm thinking of David Cage. Yeah, you're thinking of Cage. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. I don't know David Kay. 
So you're you're the you're the voice for it. You're the one that's always been about the voices. And I yes. I honestly pay attention to exactly two voices. The ones Dave, that I, yeah, David K. He fucking Shishomaru and okay, that's the one I want to see. Shishomaru. All right. Inuyasha, honey. Inuyasha. I I figured it was something like that. <laughs> yeah, I I play pay attention to exactly two people, and both of them were on the Slayers. Lisa Ortiz. And of course, uh, Crispin Freeman, who we saw last year, and that was amazing. <laughs> he's, a, he's got a, like uh, I realize that most of his life is voice acting and a little bit of singing, but he's, he's got a lot of uh, interest in mythology that I did not expect. Like he was, yeah, those panels were amazing. Yeah, his modern and his, his, what was it? His modern and ancient. Uh, Japanese mythology and how it shows up in anime was absolutely interesting beyond words. They're they're gonna have something similar to that. So again, this year I don't know if he's gonna be doing it or someone else is gonna be doing it. But there's one. Um, it's more not philosophy, but more so with the religion aspects. Um, meh. Meh. You well, I, I love philosophy. I, I love philosophy more than I love the the subject of theology. So. That's, that was just the whole deal. Like his his insight of how um, what a mech meant in Japanese mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, culture was really interesting to the point where <laughs> he was talking about how uh, in Evangelion it's all about in- re-entering the womb. Yeah, that was kind of disturbing, but interesting yeah, but it was great, time. and it's great to hear. Freeman say something like, yeah, you can see that it's going into the spine, but it so feels like the womb. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that guy was great. I still remember it was funny, though. And you're like, there's no way he can look that good. There's no way he looks like that. He comes out on screen. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought, well, I thought it was a glamour shot in the, uh, <laughs> in the friggin' In the freaking uh, uh, pamphlet that we got, I thought that was a glamour shot he took, and then he gets out on the panels, and he looks fantastic. How old is he? He's, oh, oh God! Let me hold he's on. He's a he's a motherfucking vampire, is what he is. He looks way <laughs> too good to be human. Uh, it's just one of those deals. I realize he's an actor. This is what he does. It's part of his job. Part of his job is to look good and sound great, which is why he gets so much work. Uh, he's 72. He was born in 72. Okay, so he's not that much older than I am. Oh no. my god, he looks good. Jesus. <laughs> and well, it's, it's they just... don't rely on his face so much as his voice. Well, they can. Although, doesn't he do some kind of stage production as well? Yes. He I know does... he he was trained as an opera singer. So he yes, was, he was he trained... trained as an opera singer. I think we still have that aria floating around somewhere that he did. Yeah, I have that somewhere either... If it's not in my computer, then it's, it's stored in my backups. It, yeah. But I, I assume, I assume that he also does some kind of stage work on the side because, uh, as he said, he is an actor. Actors need to eat, so he's always looking for work. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm just hoping. I know you're not really hyped for it or anything like that, but I'm hoping Dante Bosco's Q and A is as energetic as Crispin's um, because I think that should be interesting I know nothing about these people so I am not going to hold any kind of expectations but you had fun at you had fun in Crispin so well I had fun at Crispin because Crispin actually knew what the hell he was talking about and he was it he was discussing a subject I was really interested in I, 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 I like mythology I like philosophy I like these old old school things so he was he was really kind of flaunting his uh, his knowledge. It, yeah, and he did it in an intelligent way. So I yeah, I, and he did it more importantly he did it in a relatable way. You know what I would love to see? Do you remember what? the guy last year that was talking about introducing anime into uh, the lower class schools? He he was a teacher, yes! and one yes! of the things he did is he started an anime club. And he found that even though it's from a different culture, the children were relating to it, and because of it, their behavior was improving. 
Weren't they? Weren't they? Weren't they watching Revolutionary Girl Utena? Utena. Yes, they were. <laughs> That's what I thought. And well, the the thing of it was is that were, there were it, it's Revolutionary Girl Utena is its own <laughs> discussion. I could fill a show up about that, but uh, it was relatable in a way that most girls in in any kind of media isn't because Utena is the male and female roles of a romance both played by females but it's not gay it certainly feels like a lesbian relationship but it is absolutely about freedom and rights and what it's like to be a strong woman growing up through high school and of course it's relatable to these poor girls who have to fight like their parents and the rest of society like yeah they, they would relate to that so anyway i thought that was really really interesting i would love to see more of that guy and i'd want to see like uh I, i'd like to see what he's done since then i can't remember his name though so i can't look him up damn it oh god oh god traffic <laughs> Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, I just looked this up because I was like, wait, what? He wasn't in that. Apparently, Crispin Freeman, because they couldn't get the voice of Will Turner, they used Crispin Freeman as the voice in Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> game. Huh. Oh, shit. Uh, the Legend of Jack Sparrow. <laughs> and they also used, because I'm seeing a lot of names that I remember down here. Yeah, yeah, there is. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What are you doing? What did, Crashing. I, oh my god, did I crash? How bad is things? How bad is things? Be, things might be really bad. Because I'm normally behind you when you're doing this. Yeah, I know, but... And you can't even see it, but trust me, th fun happened. So I've, I've got to wait. Just talk, a, talk about whatever as I wait for this train to pass by. Uh, oh turns god. out that the, uh, the crossing guard thing... Yeah, that, that's an invisible wall. Yeah, new new information here on uh, well, let's call it a top tip from Casual Truck. When the uh, when the train is coming, stop. Stop. Yes. Or, or unless you unless you want to be like a little pancake. I could have made it if it weren't for those goddamn crossing guard things. They're there for a reason, sweetheart. You know, they're, yeah. they're there for a reason. They're there to prevent people like you. Hey, from I, coming pancakes. I am from the player character aristocracy, so oh. so I I deserve to bypass this. The rules do not apply to me. <laughs> you know, there are only two rules to driving a casual truck: what a man can do and what a man can't do. You're a Mexican, not a Mexican. That's anyway. damn right. <laughs> oh my uh, god. So what else? Uh, um, one of the things I'm I'm looking forward to at Otacon is, yeah, I is <laughs> I I really love it when they show bad anime or anime with really bad translations, and it's in front of a group of people. It turns into a freelance MST3K, and I adore it. They are gonna have something similar to that. Um, they actually have it. Where? Oh my God! Where to go? I just... Oh, there it is. All right, this isn't helping me because this one is just being retarded. I actually have to pull it up on my phone because I have it on the guidebook there. But they are gonna have something similar to that. Is that under references? Yes, it is. See, if they actually have people performing like MST3K, that's one thing. But nah, I'm talking about like. Ooh, a four-way stop. I think this is the only four-way stop in the game. Um, Rift Theater. There it is. Rift Theater. Um, yeah. It is, it's from... It's basically... It's just an hour. It's Mystery Anime Theater. It's inspired by Mystery Anime Theater. But it's not the same. I'm talking about the crowd heckling, not a, not guys in front of a panel. Which, um, which will also be enjoyable, by the way, but... Not as enjoyable because the heckling. Oh, the heckling. Oh, I see, I don't know what these are. They're going to be watching Fox... Okay, into the infamous Fox Box 
as we watch Kirby right back at you. Wow. Okay. I, I am completely unfamiliar with that. So am I. Yeah, it says, that, it says this year we delve into the early 2000s into the infamous Fox Box as we watch Kirby's right back at you. I'm, I'm not familiar with that. Neither am I. I've I've never heard of that. This must be something I've just glazed over, as it were. Huh. I don't know, but I do want to see the 30 anime titles you've probably never heard of but are awesome. I do want to see that, and I, I do want to see the Madoka and Utena um, panel. What would be involved in the Madoka panel? Because, oh god, oh god, crashes up ahead. <laughs> All right, um, they're, they're comparing the films. Because last year, we missed it, unfortunately. I'm kind of sad. I oh, know, in 2013. Yeah, last year, they were comparing... I didn't even know about this. I'm so mad now. They were comparing the um, the animes. They were comparing, I think, like the heroism and whatnot between the characters, between both of the anime series. And this one, they're going to go after the movies because there are three movies that I apparently need to see now. There are three Madoka Magical movies and one um, Utena movie. I know about the Utena movie, which incidentally I've only seen little clips of. It looks surreal. Remember how Utena got very strange at the end? Yeah. Well, uh, kind of multiply that a little bit, and then you'll get <laughs> you'll get the movie because the movie's I, odd. And I wonder. The movie feels I wonder like the Madoka it, movies because we watched it. We marathoned Madoka in one night. In one night, we marathoned Madoka. How are they gonna? What's in the movies? I I know nothing about the movies. What's left, honestly? Exactly. So I'm thinking. Oh my God, we only have what, like two, three days? I mean, to cram these movies in. She, she she became the goddess of. Oh wow! Spoilers ahead. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we I haven't we seen it. Sorry. Probably my... probably should not. Probably should like shut it. up. So let's just shut up, because. Uh, for all of our viewers, just go and watch Madoka Magica. It's, it's on it, Netflix. Or it's on Pirate Bay. It's good. And it doesn't matter which version you get, although you probably want the dub. Uh, or the, also, it's the on sub. Crunchy Roll, I think, still, too. Is it still in Crunchyroll? I okay, I thought they took it down. But, no. uh, yeah, that's how we. It's either on Crunchyroll or Netflix. I think it's still on Hulu. Well, uh -huh. the, my point was is that the story is very complete. There's yeah. not much not much more to, to put on it unless unless they talk about you know an alternate world that that's the only thing i could think of is that they have it in the alternate universe that's that's got to be it because only one person actually knows what happened in the alternate un or in the original universe now speaking yeah. of which mm -hmm. i when are we going to just get a copy of it and watch uh my hime and my otome we need to, and seriously. Because I've seen it, and the first one is really good. The second one is entertaining, but for a different reason. And it is a, a, along the same lines of alternate universes. Okay. Because the second one is an alternate universe. Um, ooh, Hawks. I'm going to make it before nightfall. Awesome. Well, okay. Um, I am close to my delivery, which means we're running out of time. Anything you want to say before we wrap things up? My god, that went fast. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, these shows go fairly quickly. I mean, uh, it's it's fun just sitting around and talking and driving a truck and crashing into, into train stops. Crashing into things, yeah. Yeah. Is that, a, is that a tractor in my way? Get the fuck out of my way! Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> You are a good one. I love you. E acres. E acres. I need to find a repair shop, and I have no idea where, so I'm just going to park <laughs> as closely to the front of this as possible. There we go. And make my delivery. There I got go. good work. Not excellent, just good work. <laughs> Ooh, and I leveled up, and I am a master now. I thought you already were at the master level. Oh, well, now I'm even more master! Mm. What shall I level up? Um, hmm. I guess I'll just fill out high-value cargo. 
There we go. Apply. And we is good. There you go. And ooh, there are new upgrades available. Like this light bar thing. Wow. Woo. I feel so impressed. And I'll check my check my drivers real quick. Uh, he's doing pretty good. He's doing pretty good. She's doing excellent. Uh, they are filling out, filling out, filling out. So, yeah. You good? We good. Mm, when you're done, I want you to come in here. I want to show you something, well, some <laughs> stuff. Okay, because she's actually just in the other room. All right, well, <laughs> that's pretty much it for Casual Truck this round. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, and I would love to thank my lovely wife, uh, Queenie, a.k.a. Departed Poet. Say goodnight, Queenie. Good night. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey, do you have Skype? Want to be on the show? Got a silly screenshot of Euro Truck I can use for the title card? Do you like beans? Would you like to watch a movie with Ted Danson eating beans? If yes, send a message to NatchEvil at gmail.com and tell me. Include truck in the subject so I know it's from you. And thanks for watching.